convolutional neural networks are almost magical when you think about it. They allow computers not just to look at images, but to actually understand them. Much like our own brains, CNNs break down visual information into patterns and features to figure out what they're seeing. We begin with an image, a 3D grid of pixels with width, height, and color channels, where each pixel contains red, green, and blue color values from 0 to 255. To the neural network, this is simply organized data. Next, these specialized detectors called filters, which the network learns, slide across the image, examining small regions at a time. Each filter searches for a specific pattern, like vertical lines, horizontal edges, or curves. And when these patterns appear, the filter creates a feature map, which is similar to a heat map showing where the pattern is strongest. These feature maps then pass through a decision gate called a ReLU activation function. ReLU decides which information gets through, letting important signals pass while blocking weak or irrelevant ones. This adds the network's ability to recognize nonlinear patterns like curves or zigzags. Next comes the pooling step. The network divides each feature map into small regions and only keeps the strongest signal from each region. This helps the network recognize objects regardless of their exact position or size. And then these steps repeat through multiple layers like passing information through a chain of increasingly sophisticated experts. And each layer builds upon the last Early layers might detect simple edges, middle layers combine these into shapes, and deeper layers recognize complex objects. And in the final stage, all of these feature maps are flattened into a single line of data. This connects to a voting system, where each detected feature gets to vote on what object is in the image. If enough cat-like features are detected, then the network will conclude, this is a cat. The network learns by comparing its guesses to correct labels, and then adjusting its filters using backpropagation, a feedback process that strengthens the connections that led to the right answers and weakens those that made mistakes. Over thousands of examples, it fine-tunes its pattern recognition abilities, much like how we learn from experience. If you like this video, be sure to follow along for more content like this. Also, to learn more and gain hands-on experience with AI tools, check out some of the free guided projects offered at cognitiveclass.ai that guide you step-by-step -step to creating your own project in under one hour.